So here's a case study of downtown Manhattan. What was done was a 3D model of Battery Park was imported into CFD and we have some tracers that were set up to show velocity vectors about the buildings downtown. And obviously the, the blues and the greens are more nominal numbers whereas we get into the yellows and the reds those are some um, cautionary areas or zones that we'll need to focus on. What we can do with this information is just look at the gross level or very macroscopic view of the profile of downtown and look at how all of the buildings behave with each other and modify uh, the design of some new buildings that are going on to make sure that they don't disturb the environment too much. Another case study, BWI Airport. We see here a graphic of the terminal and we're looking at some air diffusers that are just discharging air into this terminal, so making sure that these velocities are low so that we don't have a disturbance of a breeze or anything that would cause some comfort levels to change within this terminal. And this is all dictated by the um, aesthetic of the building, the roof, the walls, and how they behave. So placing the diffusers correctly, maybe setting up some logic for which ones operate at any given time, helps to make sure that you have a very circular and comforting profile within this terminal. So for my last example, this was one that I showed a graphic of earlier. This is an operating room, and this was a 3D model that was imported into CFD and an analysis run without any additional design work done. So we're looking at, again, tracers that were set up in key points in the room to make sure that we knew where all of the contaminations would go. And before any of the modifications were done, you can see it was a mess. So contaminants, particles, they were all over the place. There was no real clear pathway for the exhaust to go. After running a couple iterations of the CFD model, tweaking the 3D model, we were able to clean this up and show a much more organized operating room. So in the center of the screen is the operating table and as you can see all of the ventilation is going away from that table and none of the contaminants would be recirculated back onto the patient so that we can minimize the risk of infections post-surgery.